Hello everyone, this is Diane and I'm here to show you a vintage journal that is about to be listed in my Etsy shop. I gave you a sneak peek of this cover in my last video. <clears throat> well, it was the video of this book and the design of the pages and, and signatures is very, very similar to this book. The images are different and the, the papers are different, but the design is very similar. I realized that I forgot to put the little corners because these corners are frayed of this vintage book, but it will have these copper corners on front and back corners. Um, so this is the green covered book. It looks worn and uh, there's a little bit of embossing here on the back and I just love the way this looks and it says uniquely handmade limited edition I made uh, stamped that on there <clears throat> and this is Mod Podge Don this is from a 1928 I think the magazine was called Pictorial Review I found it at a flea market and it was a big tall magazine I don't I didn't measure it but it was a tall magazine and it had a lot of really nice advertisements so I cut all the advertisements up and there's a lot of them in this book. Um, that particular ad was was this. See it's quite long and because of this shape I cut around that shape and that gave me the idea to use one of my shaped pieces that I cut with my Big Shot. So I um, <clears throat> just rubbed a little bit of vintage photo ink around it and stamped Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful and then Mod Podged on a few of my, <coughs> excuse me, a few of my elements that I stamped and die cut. The cover I left, or the spine I left on, but it was not in very good shape. So I reinforced it with Tyvek and some brown craft paper in there and then um, muslin on the outside, coffee dyed muslin. And there's some trim on the front and the back. And this peach colored seam binding is uh, not important to the structure of the book. Uh, it's just decoration, so you can remove that if you would like and use this seam binding in another project. Um, there are eyelets on the front and the back, and I threaded this seam binding through it to tie. It has three signatures stitched in. And on the inside cover, I Mod Podged this article about tatting. And you can see it on the back, tatting, uh, tatted edges, new and attractive. <clears throat> and I wanted to leave this book plate here because it was, oh, uh, I don't even know how old this book was. I didn't have the inner, I hadn't saved the inner pages. I gutted this book quite a while ago. But this is from the Athens Library from the town where I live and it's um, now called the Spalding Memorial Library and it has been for as long as I know but this was donated by Mr. Jesse Spalding so I thought that was neat this book belongs to and some crochet trim here first signature starts with this um, patterned paper which has been coffee dyed coffee dyed doily and um, there's quite a few ephemeris vintage garden printables in here I think most of them are her freebies. Um, so this is one, and this tag is one. And there's a banner that I cut from leftover scrapbook paper. It's kind of like a cardstock. And then there's some trim there, and it says imagination up there. This is a pocket that I made, and it opens up so that you can write here. And I stitched on some trim, some seam binding, this little vintage duck sticker, and the word whimsical because inside is this really cool, um, it's not vintage, it's a reproduction, that's the word I was trying to think of, reproduction vintage advertisement, but what's really cool about it is it's a flip book. So you would, you were instructed to cut it out and then fold it and glue it together so it has front and back and then cut these two sides so you can flip things, flip the images and change the faces. <laughs> so this is fun. So there's a lady on the on the back and on one side and a man on the other side. So that's fun to play with. There's no journaling on it, but it's just fun to play with. And a tag in here that says 
and the story begins. Some beautiful copy dyed paper. This is um, tracing paper and this is not a vintage ad. It was printed from Pinterest. I, it's from a vintage book. The image is from a vintage book, but this is a printed image. And it's a lady doing facial exercises, so that's pretty cool. And she's glued to graph paper, or a graph index card that I cut down and corner punched. And it has one of those little tiny Tim Holtz paper clips there. And a little printable there. Here's an advertisement from the old magazine, free to women who love flowers. All the materials and easy instructions for making a bouquet of sweet peas. This is a alterations tag from Denise's Tattered Dream Shop on Etsy. This side has a little scrap of vintage music paper, craft paper with hearts stitched on, and um, Jill Robertson gave me this idea, and I love it. Thank you, Jill. And um, a pink leaf trim, and this is a little vintage sticker that I absolutely love. There's some corner stamping and border stamping on many of the pages. Vintage ledger paper. I give credit to this page, for this page, to Alicia Wheeler and Lee Pogue. This is a, sorry, a little ephemera piece that Alicia sent me when we did an ephemera swap. And this card here was a card in a book, a journal that Lee Pogue made, and we did a swap. And as I, she had a lot of enclosures in the book, and as I journaled, I actually used the book. As I journaled, I removed the cards so I could write on the pages. And some of the cards I forgot to put back in the book, and never they never got used. So um, I'm done with the book now. Um, so I think I used two of the enclosures from that book in this book. But I just love that color. And then she stamped Imagine in this beautiful chair. This is a piece from a uh, Gone with the Wind vintage book. A tag, cut with my Cricut. Lace, stamping. This is one of those sheets that I put salt on, so it's got a little speckled look. Uh, a vintage ad for Minute Rice. Um, impress your husband's best friend, it says. And there's some ledger paper there and a little strip of trim. This is a page from a vintage book about ballet. And there's some seam binding. This seam binding was this color, but I rubbed it with my Stazon burgundy ink. And there's a vintage gift card. Vintage music, which is stitched together as a pocket. I had already start, um, tried this video once, so I had pulled this card out. But it's another graph paper index card with some stamping, and it fits right in here. I realized partway through the filming that I had my little fan on because it's a hot day and the last time I did it with my little fan on <clears throat> even though the fan is quiet the air was blowing on my camera and it really caused a, a bad sound on my video so I shut the fan off and started over this is uh, the other piece of the ballet paper page and a piece of fabric and a little piece of seam binding stamping. Look at all the speckles on that page. This is a pocket formed with leftover paper and advertisement for the perfect hem stitcher and a little seal for tested and approved by the Bureau of Food and Food Sanitation and Health. And then this is just a scrap of copy dyed paper for journaling. This is a vintage bridge score sheet and this is fussy cut from a vintage children's book ledger paper stamping and a pocket made with leftover paper and one of my vintage homemade or not vintage i make them to look vintage handmade pieces some crochet trim a couple of printables for journaling and this little miniature vintage playing card this is an article from that 1928 magazine, Close Ideas from Abroad. So that was pretty interesting to read. It's um, talking about diamond dyes, dyeing your fabrics or your old dresses to reuse them. Vintage ad on tracing paper. This is a muslin, coffee dyed muslin pocket that I stitched on. 
and it stamped on it and put a little tag in there. Parker's Hair Balsam removes dandruff and stops hair from falling. This is one of the pieces Alicia stamped. And this is a printable, this lady. I think it was a free printable I found probably on Pinterest, but she just fit perfectly on that pocket. And this is coffee dyed ledger paper that I made a tag out of. And let's see. I think this is where I was when I realized the fan was on. So this is cut from the ballet book and she's backed with coffee dyed paper um, book page which is um, cut with my big shot and it's um, gone with the wind some tool back here it's a tan color and a little metal piece and there's a lot of stitching here piece of that um, doily and then a printable journaling card second signature I'll try to go more quickly through it because they all have kind of the same design throughout. This was sent to me by someone in a swap, and I think that was Lee Pogue also, but it says Believe. This is coffee dyed scrap. I just love that dark color. Another piece stamped by Alicia is right here. Here's an ad for all floss for embroidery given so it's a needlework kit I believe here's an ad it's for an ad for my doll and she says and I had to be scolded into trying it this is a photo a vintage photo that I have in my collection and it's I printed it out on parchment paper but I love this it's a picture of a lady sewing the back britches of this boy and it's dated 1923 and somebody wrote on it a stitch in time saves nine I thought that was great so I made a copy of it and put it in there this is a stamp from my mother's collection from <clears throat> Magyar it says Ooh, I've got to hurry this is a music page with book behind it and uh, another copy of a vintage photo that I glued on and a heart. There's a tag in there. Another page from the ballet book. Seam binding and trim. Vintage lady from a magazine. Fabric flap. This is a vintage sheet from a prescription pad. There's a vintage ad up here for beads coffee dyed tag. There's lots of sewing, lots of trim, lots of pockets. There's some tool here. Lots of room for journaling. There's another of the pockets with the book page, the tool, the ballerina from the book, and a little piece of metal, a tag in there. This tag was um, Mod Podge with some printed tissue paper that you can write on the back says dream on this page. Another of the pockets with the flap. This opens up. A vintage sticker there again. And this one is a vintage ad that says be a nurse. Another stamp from, it says Magyar Posta. Another vintage ad. A tag in there and a printable vintage sticker. This is from a ledger, um, the beginning of the ledger that had the alphabet. So that page is in here. Another music sheet with a tag and a photo that I made a copy of. Fussy cut those flowers from something. I made a mistake and stitched this on after I already had the pocket stitched on. or stitched. So anyway, the pocket doesn't go all the way down, which is kind of good because you can put a, a smaller tag in there. So this note fits in there. Just the right height. Look at that dark coffee dye. This is from a vintage pharmacy student's notebook. 
It's really thin, thin paper. It's delicious. Another flap. Oh, I'm going to glue some ledger paper or lined paper or something here for writing. I forgot to do that. And I will be adhering some of those little hearts to the strings. There are two signatures that the strings are showing, so I'll be doing that, these little hearts. This is a piece that Alicia made, and it just blends right in with this background paper. There's a little strip of music paper there. I've just gone over 15 minutes. I don't like to. There's a vintage ad for a cosmetics line. Another muslin piece that's stamped. And another ballerina on a pocket with a little piece of metal. And I signed it there. So this will be listed in my Etsy shop. And thank you for watching.